Hi guys, uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, in this video I'm going to teach you how to connect your PS3 controller to your computer so that uh, your PS3 controller can be used like any game pads and uh, play any PC games on your computer that supports uh, PC gamepad. So you can't uh, just uh, connect your PS3 controller to your computer uh, via US USB, you actually need to uh, install another third party um, software so as to enable your PS3 controller to be played on your computer. So first thing you want to do is uh, log into your internet browser and in this case I'm using Firefox and once you're in your internet browser go to the website called www.motioninjoy.com and that's uh, spelled as M-O-T-I-O-N-I-N-J-O-Y dot com okay so I don't own this website neither did I um, develop the software I just uh, found this on uh, Google and uh, before I made this tutorial video I have tried it out and it uh, works uh, perfectly fine with my PS3 controller so once you are on this page um, you see a link here uh, that says uh, version 0 0.6005 click on that and then uh, scroll down you see that uh, it says here download link uh, so click on the download link and it will bring you to the download page on the download page you see that there is actually many versions of this software uh, there's a version 0 0.7 uh, it's still in the testing phase so I would not want to use that because uh, uh, it might not be that stable um, I would uh, choose version 0 0.6.305 uh, which is the latest um, stable version so depending on the which uh, operating uh, system you are using uh, you will choose the download link here uh, correspondingly for my case I'm using a 64 bits uh, Windows 7 so I click on site 1 here and you get to choose you can save your file to a computer and run the file but uh, in this case I'll click on run so that uh, it saves on the temporary folder and run automatically and uh, it's actually a zip file so uh, once uh, you you download the file you need a uh, software to be able to unzip the file but if you are using Windows 7 that shouldn't be a problem because uh, Windows 7 is able to unzip files and for my case, uh, I have uh, another software which is called the WinRAR. It's an unzipper which I've installed in my computer. So it automatically runs. And uh, now I can click on Extract to uh, to extract the file and save it somewhere so that I can run the file. But uh, in this case, I will just, uh, since it's only one file here, so I'll just choose double click it so that it will extract and run at the same time. Okay, you can see that it says Sunjun. So um, this, uh, as far as I know, this uh, software, it's actually the made in China. Click on the yes. Okay, now you are at the setup wizard. Click next. Okay, choose where you want to save the software. Next, next. Um, depending on your preference, you may want to uh, leave uh, both checked. For my case, I will just want to create a desktop icon, so I'll leave the first one checked. Click on Next. Check the settings. If you're OK, click on Install. OK, so now the software is installed in my computer. So make sure that uh, the Run DS3 2 checkbox here is checked. So once you click on Finish, it will automatically um, call up the program. OK. Now let me minimize all these windows here. So now we are in this program. This program um, actually allows you to uh, play your PS3 controller uh, on your computer. Without this, um, your PS3 controller will not work on your computer. As you can see, it says here, wait for controllers to be connected. So the next thing I want to do is I will click on the driver manager here. Okay, click on the yes. And well, it seems like it brings me back to the home page. So I'll click on the driver manager again. Okay, now I'm on this page. Now, the next thing you want to do is uh, to take your PS3 controller 
and uh, your USB cable connect your USB cable to your computer and then the other mini side to your PS3 controller now I'm using a third-party PS3 controller but if you are using an official the PS3 controller uh, it works uh, perfectly fine as well so now go back to the screen okay I'm gonna leave my PS3 controller connected to my computer and go back to the screen here and there uh, you can see that it has detected the USB the uh, via the USB your PS3 controller what you do is that uh, the box here you want to check it and then click on load driver or well, this may take a while depending on how fast your computer is and once it what once it is completed you can see that it says here completed okay I have actually tried this uh, before the video so I don't get the restart your computer message but for some of you, you might, uh, since uh, if it's the first time you install this program on your computer, it might ask you to restart your computer. So what you do is uh, make sure you save all your work, okay, restart your computer, come back, uh, when once you're back on the Windows, uh, load this program again, and you want to come to Device Manager, okay, click on this again, and click on Load Driver, and once it's loaded, go back to Profiles, and now you can see that uh, the DualShock 3 6 axis is connected and now back to your controller if you see that there's actually no lights here what you want to do is uh, to press the uh, center button here just to tell that uh, the computer so that it knows that uh, this PS3 controller is connected now you can the first thing the, before you start playing, you want to actually ascertain that uh, your PS3 controller is functioning, functioning um, okay on your computer. So what I'll do is I'll first uh, do a vibration testing. Okay, I actually feel the vibration on my hand, but I'm not too sure. Um, you guys, can, yeah, probably not see it. So what I'll do is probably I will just put this uh, next to the camera and see if you can hear the vibration okay okay i'm gonna click one more once more there there you go so um, vibration testing passed next go to the game controller panel and then it will call up a small window here make sure this is selected and click on properties it will call up another page which is the test page here you can actually test all the individual buttons on your uh, PS3 controller so what I'm gonna do is I'll probably tr try the up can you see the crosshair here is actually moving when I press up up left down left okay and right then trying the rest of the buttons you can see that the button numbers on the screen is uh, lighted up as I press them okay alright and I'll try the uh, analog buttons now you see that uh, there's actually no uh, no indication on the screen well it's a small bug here in this uh, program but it's quite easy to fix what you do is that you click on cancel and click on the close and then what you want to do is you come to under the profile page go to PlayStation 3 and then click on options and then uh, you see that the drop down menu here ensure it's chosen as DualShock 3 6 axis and then click on save changes okay now go back to the profiles page again and go back to game controller panel properties now you can see that uh, as I move the uh, left analog stick the crosshair on the screen is also moving okay and the right ones actually uh, moves the red bar okay and as I rotate my uh, my uh, controller you can see the red bars some of the red bars are moving that goes to show that the six axis is working as well okay the buttons yes it's working as well all right now that uh, gives me the assurance that the buttons and the analog uh, sticks are all working with my computer so the next thing I want to do is uh, to uh, 
go into a game and try it out. So when you want to play a game with your PS3 controller, make sure that the, this program remains on because if it's off, then the, your PS3 controller will not work. I have uh, pre-installed my computer with uh, Crisis 2. So um, this is the Crisis 2 page and you will see that um, uh, I'm using my mouse here to control this and you see that in options under controls there's actually a gamepad option and in this gamepad option when I click ah I see that the um, the uh, photo here is actually more of an Xbox so although my PS3 is now connected uh, I can't exactly really uh, control it so what I have to do is that uh, let me minimize the game again call back the uh, call back the uh, program and this time I want to choose a Xbox 360 controller emulator okay options and then uh, DualShock 3 6 axis save changes mm -hmm. alright now I can go back to the game and this time uh, the problem is just that you have to remember that uh, the, the, the things here are actually different. Um, this is actually A and this is B, for example. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out and I'm using my controller now to uh, control the, uh, the game. So probably uh, go up to the main page and uh, resume game. Okay. Now I'm not using my mouse, uh, the uh, PS3 controller is controlling the game and uh, seems uh, like uh, it's working well. Alright, uh, we'll wait for the, uh, the um, game to load. Oh, okay. Now we are on the game. Let's see. Well, this is Crisis 2. If you guys have played this game, you probably know that this is just uh, the start of the game. Okay, so now I'm toggling my uh, this panel here, the right one, so I can view left, right, move left, right. Okay. Jump. So now you can see that uh, this is actually working right now. So, um, well, now I'm gonna lock off and continue the game with my gamepad. And I hope that uh, you've enjoyed the video and learned something out of this video. So, uh, thank you very much for watching the video and goodbye.